Hey guys, it's Nicole, the Barbell Bombshell. We are here today going over the back extension, um, or would be probably better referred to as hip extensions. And the version I'm going to show you today is focused on developing the glutes and the hamstrings. So there are a couple variations and ways to do back extensions uh, or hip extensions. But um, today I want to do a version or a technique that focuses on actually taking your lower back out of the equation and to um, strengthen and develop the hamstrings and the glutes specifically. Uh, there is a way to do back extensions where you're focusing on more building up the, uh, the spinal erectors, the low back. But again, we're focusing on the glutes. So if you are feeling this more in your lower back, than your glutes and your hamstrings, there's something wrong here if the goal is to focus on those areas. So the first thing I wanna go over is basically just how to set up, really uh, simple. You want to make sure that your legs are parallel to the floor and that your knees are either completely locked out or almost locked out. Some people find a little discomfort when they completely lock out their knees when they're doing back or hip extensions. It's okay to have soft knees just as long as you're not having a lot of excessive knee bend because that will uh, take more of the glutes out of the equation. There'll be more of a hamstring pull. So we're doing glutes and hamstrings. More focus on the glutes today. So when you set up, you want to make sure that your hip bones are just right in front of the pads. So we want to make sure that we can hang all the way down and not have our hip bones behind the pad where it forces our low back to round. You should be able to hang freely. And again, you can bend your knees a little bit or you can lock them out, whatever's comfortable for you. Just make sure that the pelvis, the hip bones are just in front of the pads. Uh, the other thing you want to do if you're really trying to target your glutes is the angle of your feet. You can have your toes pointed straight down, but if you toe out a little bit, just like with squatting or with deadlifting, you get that external rotation, that'll target your glutes more. So I tend to toe out about 45 degrees when I'm doing these back or hip extensions, and I really feel it in my glutes, especially at the top. Um, so you're going to cross your arms across your chest, and you're going to focus on really feeling it in your glutes the whole time. So I want you to really think about every rep, even on the way down, you should still feel you know, that eccentric, um, plenty of tension in the glutes as you're lowering your body down. You don't wanna just fall down without any tension. So you'll hang, make sure your pelvis, your hip bones are just right in front. You're gonna toe out a little bit, arms across the chest. And remember, we wanna keep our low back away from doing the work and the pulling. So we want to try to keep our spine as neutral as possible. This means trying to keep this area as flat as we can. So this means I don't have to go much higher than here or parallel. You'll see a lot of people when they do back extensions, all right, they're overextending, they're coming way up, they have this excessive curve in their low back, and um, they're also extending their upper back, and it's, it's just not necessary. It actually takes away from what we're trying to do today. So when you are doing these, and you see someone performing these and you, and you see them staying below parallel, that's totally okay. We're focusing on the glutes and the hips. So maintaining a flat neutral back is really key here. So you can do these with your arms across your chest. I'll just show you a couple reps. Um, a way to progress just body weight here is to go prisoner style, and that's to put your hands behind your ears. Same principle applies, same exact setup. It's easier with the arms above the head to get overextended in the low back. So um, make sure that you're ready for those. You should be building up sets of 20, possibly 30 of the arms across the chest with a good low back position before you go to prisoner style. As it goes out, here. Okay, another way to progress these is to add some resistance, add some more load. You can hold a dumbbell up towards the top of your chest, more towards your chin. You can hold a plate there too, I'll show you a couple of those. But when you guys are starting to load the back hip extensions, again, make sure that you're almost tipping your pelvis under um, and you're not gonna make up for that as it gets heavy with arching of the low back or getting that anterior pelvic tilt. 
This is also a great exercise for you to correct that fault when you're lifting or if you have excessive APT just in your normal posture. So I'll show you a couple reps with adding some resistance. Again, you wanna hold that, you know, whether it's a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or a plate up high on your chest. You don't wanna hold it low, closer to your hips. So go here, same principles apply. Same thing with a plate. All right, so those are the basics. Again, this version is to target specifically more glutes and hamstrings. We wanna take the low back out of the equation. So you don't need to come up really high. You don't need to open up your upper back. Um, when you do start to load this exercise though, you don't want excessive rounding of the upper back. It's okay when you're doing body weight to round a lot. Um, it's actually, I kind of encourage it in the beginning when people have a hard time feeling their glutes working on these. Some people only feel low back for a while and they're just not knowing how to take their low back out of the equation and use their hips and their glutes to extend. So I have people excessively round and when they extend up, I tell them to think about tucking their pelvis under, doing a posterior tilt and to almost like thrust or pump the pads a little bit. I'll show you that real quick. So this is kind of exaggerated, but this is a great way to kind of train someone to feel their glutes. I'm gonna lift him. All right, so you're gonna really, really round. You barely come up. It's a lot smaller range of motion, but it's more focused on the glutes. So yeah, that's it for today on the back slash hip extension. Let me know if you guys have any questions, leave some comments below, and uh, feel free to check out my website, thebarbellbombshell.com.